So I, so I guess when, uh, well, when you first started getting into art, were you, did, did you start off um, you know, like doing like uh, doodles and penciling or did you just go blown into uh, using color? Well, it started with pencil and pens. Um, and then, you know, I got my first sketch pad. So they let me try drawing. Uh, and before you know it, you know, the markers come out and then the colored pencils and then eventually paint came into my life not sure how not really sure how it all got started either because uh i'm completely self-taught too yeah so every piece of art supplies that i would receive before i really start getting serious would be like a gift of some sort so uh i guess when it graduated from the pen and pencil and i was like let me take this a step further uh uh, that's when the color really started coming into my life. Um, my grandfather was an artist and he used color in all of his art. Like he was more like oil paint, the oil paint based. Yeah. And, um, he, it's, it's hard to think about because like his cult, like his use of color is like so different from mine, you know, his is more like, uh, I don't want to say conservative, but like more traditional use right. of color. And I mean, you've seen some of my paintings, they're all over the place. <laughs> like, um, it goes from like bright, bright yellow to, to really bright purple to black to white. And his is just much more subtle, just yeah. like, and nice transition from white to gray and then a nice red over here like it's just, it, you can just tell the difference in intensity almost yeah, yeah. Kind of well also the uh, the difference in how society viewed art at the time what sort of uh painting yes. did he do he would do like very basic things like uh i remember ones like uh a ballerina with like her point shoes and like a still pose uh, a few landscapes, um, like roosters, animals, just very typical uh, realism, I guess, yeah. would be for it, rather than abstract. <clears throat> so, yeah, he he would really he had like a particular technique that I like can't match. <laughs> like, um, I wish I had them available to show you because they are so cool. Just like it's like the different brush strokes, like, and I don't know if it's just me as an artist. Like, those are the little details in art that I really appreciate. Just like the difference oh, in gosh. size and brush stroke and the amount of paint used and stuff like that. You know. Like just the little subtle differences it is just so fascinating. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Cool. I, that's why I can. Uh, I have a lot of respect for that kind of realism as well, because um, I mean, it's it's almost using like a different side of your brain from when you're just doing abstract stuff. Because mm -hmm. I do, uh, I do surrealism when I paint, so I have mm -hmm. my hand in both uh, options because I like to do stuff that's you know definitely uh, realistic and has those realistic undertones, but mm -hmm. I also like it to get a little weird when I want it to. Right. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's a, there's a fine balance there because that realism, it really, it really is an entirely different skill set than doing abstract. It stuff. is. Because mm -hmm. abstract stuff is just in the moment, it's spontaneous. A lot of the times you're just kind of going with your gut feeling as opposed yeah. to realism. Like you have to have a long plan out of mm -hmm. what you want to do and layer it, particularly with oils, which is such an unforgiving uh, medium. Yeah, don't, I can't. <laughs> like, I don't typically use oil because it just, it's so tedious and it's just, and I just prefer acrylic, I guess, because it's just easier to work with and it dries faster. Yeah. But yeah, you, you, you're right completely. Um, it's just like uh, the different styles of like, uh, of abstract and the different styles of realism combined. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Like I keep I keep losing my train of thought because I keep getting excited about one thing and then we talk about another. I'm like, wait. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Abstract, abstract, like you said, is very in the moment, and realism you need to like really prep and plan. And uh, I don't want to say it's easier to do abstract because maybe not. You know, um, for me personally, like I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to lines and stuff so when I do do the realism it's just like it has to be like this this is what it has to look like this is what a of some sort I need to sketch it out I need to 
draft it essentially, but with abstract, I feel a little bit more free to just kind of express whatever it is I'm feeling at the moment, you know, like, don't get me wrong. Wrong. I when a drawing turns out really well and perfect and like that looks exactly what it's supposed to look like you know yeah. like that's a great feeling as well but it's also kind of cool stepping away from a canvas and being like what did I just do in the past two hours like what is the what are those shapes like it's definitely just two, like you said two different skill sets both very cool though oh <laughs> and it, you know to be a master of all of them imagine what that would be like yeah yeah you're getting up there with um i mean those artists that not only do they know those different styles but they know how to utilize the nuances of those styles to complement styles that would oftentimes um kind of butt heads or contrast mm -hmm. and you know, when you when you like you know have worked in all those different mediums and you're able to kind of combine those different things together that are um i mean primarily if you look at like some of the art that like takes like uh the ultra realism right you know whether it's just like something weird like a pair of hands and then like uh, has that go into like uh you know kind of like a pop arty vibe i was yeah. looking at a painting i forget who it was the other day it just kind of popped up on my instagram and it was just a pair of hands that like started off all you know uh ultra realistic but as like the painting went they just kind of melted down into like this entirely kind of abstract pop art where things just got super bright and cartoony and like that kind of stuff always impresses me because uh, yeah but primarily when it comes to stuff that i can't do i'm always just like oh man how did they do that <laughs> you're like that's awesome yeah <laughs> absolutely yeah uh, i definitely even you know even as an artist i see others doing their their you know they're doing us work and i'm like how are you doing that? like like <laughs> where'd the ideas come from you know like uh there's this one artist i worked with a lot uh, when I was working with Bass Nectar artists, uh, his name was Joey Allen, and he takes like cart classic cartoon characters and kind of like overlaps them. And somehow you, it's like you know exactly what characters are in that painting, but since they're all overlapped, you wouldn't, like at first glance, you wouldn't know that that was those characters in all, all in like one spot. Like it's just so, up, it's so up to interpretation, you know? the beauty about art being yeah. able to, like look at something and having your own being able to have your own feeling about it and it not be wrong